I'm 25 years old, married with three kids. I often have to wash the sheets because someone wet the bed. Oh. And it's me. Oh. My sister recommended I buy thick, absorbent underwear products, but I'm too young for that. Yeah. I'm also too old for wetting the bed. Why is this happening and what can I do? <laughs> Well, the medical term is called enuresis, and I'm gonna answer it based upon being a female of the reproductive age. But once again, it's nighttime, so time to talk about what sleep things can do this. Obstructive sleep apnea. And people ask me why, why enuresis, wetting the bed, why going to the bathroom at night? Because when you have untreated obstructive sleep apnea, you get excess hormone called A. NP, N stands for naturitic. It means it makes you dump out salt in your urine. And wherever salt goes, Dr. Drew, who follows? Water. That is right. And also you have a decrease <laughs> of this hormone called uh, a, uh, ADH we're talking about. And that's why people with sleep apnea have frequent trips to the bathroom. It's called nocturia. And they could have enuresis. And that's why when they wake up in the morning, they are so dehydrated because of all that fluid loss. But you know what? what when I hear a reproductive age female, I'm gonna think about bladder issues. Yeah, so There's, I was, I was yeah. thinking she's had three children. So are you concerned about her ah. muscle support there and pelvic so floor? So one of them is called stress incontinence, but that's not the answer. You know why? That happens from coughing and sneezing. She's predisposed to it, but this is enuresis. It happens when she's sleeping. There's no history. I'm putting my bed on what they call overactive bladder syndrome. We see it quite commonly where the detrusor muscle around the bladder gets a little irritated, and I have seen patients that get referred to me because of this at night. And there's definitely things that we can do to help that. I think this is another one of those where if this is happening, best thing to do is get it checked out. Yes. And do a journal too. What medications, how much water is she drinking before she exactly. goes to bed? Alcohol, is there something she's taking that makes her sleep so heavily yeah. that, that she doesn't wake up to go to the bathroom? So. And you know what the best part about this is? We picked two of the, not the most common things that sleep apnea presents with, night sweats, and in your recess, so always think outside the box. Even the occasional adult bedwetting could be perfectly normal. In fact, we wanted mm -hmm. to know how common it was amongst our viewers. We asked via our social media followers, have you ever wet the bed as an adult? Hmm. 11,000 people participated in the poll, 15% answered yes. Drew, have you ever yep. wet the bed as an adult? No. <laughs> Seriously? I guess I have something to look forward to. No. <laughs> The point not. is really well taken, that even vis-a-vis -vis this, that if you have never experienced something and something comes up out of the blue, especially as an adult, then you yeah. should be looking into medical reasons for it. Exactly. See a doctor, get no, a I've, I've yeah. admitted this sure. on the show before as yeah. an adult. One time I was having a dream that I yeah. was up going to the bathroom, yeah. and I mean, I was sound asleep, yeah. and uh, I woke up from my dream, and I wasn't at the bathroom, <laughs> but I was like, whoa, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just went to bed. <laughs> It happened. No, I, Here I am confessing you, on national you, TV. You have those dreams <laughs> where, you, where you're going to the bathroom, so you do, right? It happens. No, it I, I happens. I think I was yep. so tired. I yep. wanted to believe him. I was so tired from work. Yep. I just wanted to believe that I was already up. <laughs> I, just could, I just could. Oh, no. Oh, it was such a, it was so great. <laughs> until, until, of course, you wake up from that bad dream.